Whoa. Oh my god, a big dragon. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. What an awesome experience. And this is my talk about. So, you know, virtual reality is a great and super exciting technology. Just imagine the power to share your experiences. For example, if you go to vacation and say, hey, mom, I was on vacation. Sure, son, where you've been? Here, check it out, virtual reality, boom. And then she's with you on the strand with your girlfriend. A little bit awkward, but cool. <laughs> so we have great potential not only in sharing the experience in the social world, but also in training in medical things and also, of course, in gaming, yes. But just in, uh, like here, I'm, uh, I'm on my warning red carpet. I'm only allowed to stay here. Um, we always have great challenges when it comes to the interaction. And well, we are just in the beginning of technology. And uh, for example, when I put on the headset on my mom, um, it took two minutes, and then she was completely white. Can I put it off? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, mom. <laughs> She was super scared and super, uh, super, um, yeah, um, dizzy about, whoa, <laughs> this technology. She was excited about, cool, like, uh, I was there, I was in this cool castle, but, well, <laughs> she puked. Oops. And I want to talk with you about three challenges when it comes to the cool interaction design, when it comes to how to implement games or virtual reality experiences. One is the technology, second, the interaction, and the third, of course, is the content. So, let's start with the obvious one, the technology. And I have one big question, or like, um, one thing is the latency. So, we right now, we have various um, technologies, so like, we have there on the backside. Did you try this on the backside? Who tried this? Come on, guys. Not enough fingers, go there, try it out. After this talk, go, in the break. So. Um, and also, we have there a super high-end computer, and I had here my smartphone device. Two various uh, components, or two various technologies, but um, both have virtual reality. And the problem with the latency is it triggers, or it alerts your body that you're poisoned. Why? The pro problem is when your visual cues are de uh, decoupled from the motion uh, sensor from your ears and from your body, your brain gets alert, fuck, we eat something poisoned. We have to puke to get it out. And this is the point. When you design for the technology, keep in mind the latency and also the requirements when it comes to if you want to design for the mobile devices or for high-end super gaming computers, pew pew kawaii. The second thing is the physics. I mean the real physics. So. I want to introduce my friend, Max. He was one of my test persons in the user experience uh, um, test, and I tested with him so virtual reality um, movement. He put on the headset, and oh my god, I can run, and oof, <laughs> run against the ball. The problem was there was an eye tracking integrated, which cost 15,000 euros. And it, yeah, it survived. But I was super scared, and he was so, oh my god, this game is so realistic, I also can feel pain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, but what I want to talk about is physics. Um, it costs energy from your body when you want to interact in cool ways, so think about how to design this and also guide the user about the area where they can play. Okay? And the third one is the tracking. May I introduce Dr. Rubber Arm? Dr. Rubber Arm and me, we have a good relationship because I tried to, or this was for an um, experiment in the psychology, so we wanted to invent low cost um, therapies for spider phobia. So the problem, or the people which had to interact with the Kinect and the virtual reality had to put this spider in the box away. And we were so excited about the Kinect. Yeah, cool, motion free, controller free interaction, just grab it and put it there. So, in the beginning we had this, so, and you have to know that the Kinect is tracking in this area from your body away perfectly or really good. If it's in front of your body, it gets crushed. We didn't know this at this point. And at the first tests, 
We started so like one one test subject with some spider fear. She came in and said, oh my god, there's a spider. She was a little bit scared. But then the arm appeared. She uh, started with the arm, and then the arm got rubbered. So rotated in her body, and she was super scared that, oh my god, my arm, I can't control this. And, oh my god, what is she doing? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This is tracking. Keep this in mind when you uh, want to interact, or uh, keep in mind what is possible with your technology. What can you do with this? What you can achieve? And where are the limits? Also, from the interaction perspective, um, for example, when you want to grab something, you can select with, with your eyes. Super magic, super powerful, because, oh my god, I can shoot lasers with my eyes. But normally, if I want to grab my smartphone, I can't use my eyes, I use my hands. So, think about this. When you want to design for your uh, virtual reality content, is it who are you? Are you a magician? Are you a cyborg? Or are you just random person fifth, five? So, and let's go continue to the interaction. Yes, design for the user. There are some super cool sci-fi movies where the, uh, where the user stands in front of a virtual reality or vi mixed reality hub and doing this the whole time. Oh my god, I have to Google this. Just imagine to do this when you have to write your bachelor or master or uh, PhD the whole time. When you want to type, you have to do all the time this with your arms in the hand, air. Think about doing this in a library. 30 people standing around and Hey, I need the data. Here. Oh, my God. Okay, here. Ow! <laughs> so, this is the point when it comes to design for the user. Think about what are the goals from your user and where they interact, what they want to achieve. And also, think about ergonomics. It's not really healthy to interact 45 hours in that way. So, I mean, you can try this whole, the whole, uh, whole presentations now, the arm in front of you, and let's see how long you will survive. And virtual reality, wow, cool technology. And it's important to think about virtual reality is a new media. It's not a smartphone, it's not a computer game, it's virtual reality. And if you compare this over the media, over of, uh, development of medias, like movies, cinemas, and that stuff, they were also, they invented new ways to interact, so like new paradigms. And this will happen, or is happening already in virtual reality. So don't limit yourself and just use old ideas, invent new one. Shift your uh, uh, perspective to new ways to interact and break the walls to cool and nice interactions with great content. And this is an important thing, make it comfortable, which does mean don't use sharp objects right next to the eyes of your user. They don't like this. I mean, you wouldn't like to have nails in front of your eyes the whole time. But there, in some experience, they play the whole time with, ooh, there's something really close to you. So you can do this once, but if you do it the whole time, the user gets annoyed or bored or they don't like it. Second point, don't move the user or don't limit the movement of the user. They have to control where they want to look. So if you limit or if you break their neck and say, okay, I control for you now the camera, they get immediately sick and want to leave because it's not natural that somebody else controls your head in the moment. The third one is don't punch your user. <laughs> so when you have to inter, uh, design user inter, uh, interfaces, don't put it right next in front of your eyes. So it, it wouldn't be nice if I would come to you and say, hey, here, is it right? You wouldn't like this, so put it away from it. Use the 3D environment. Virtual reality is not a 2D screen anymore. It's the whole 3D build. So please, use this powerful tool. And the third one, don't throw the user around. So falling down and that stuff is not very comfortable. And this comes to my last huge point. Don't play only with the fears of the user. So yeah, it's nice to play with the scary effects or jump scares and boo effects, or whatever. But over the time, the user gets annoyed and gets bored. And well, it's not a great content. Instead, help the user to reach their dreams. What does this mean? Create awesome experiences for them and help them to find cool experiences which they can talk about and also the whole medium. Thank you very much.
and I see you in the virtual reality.